Hello Pisces and welcome to your September blessings video. So we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and some oracle cards to see what blessings are coming for you here in the month of September. Pisces, remember that these videos are generalized. Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as that will resonate with someone else watching these videos. Pisces, I'd also say to get a more a richer reading, also have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign, and also your ascendant sign, because together these signs are going to give you a much broader reading and more information that you need here in the month of September. If you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. Get in touch and I'll be happy to work with you. And if you can subscribe to the channel, that will be awesome. So these are the cards that I have for you. So let's get started. Pisces, we are seeing that you are kicking off this reading with the Nine of Swords, indicating that there is something on your mind at the moment that could be keeping you awake. There's some worries, there's some anxiety, there's, like I said, insomnia perhaps going on because you have so much fears, perhaps about the future, perhaps about your money. The Swords are the worries that we have in our minds. So this is you analyzing, perhaps even overthinking situations, which is what is keeping you awake and just really seeing you consumed with your worries and with the uncertainty that is in some areas of your life currently. So Pisces, it's interesting to see that you actually have incredible blessings that are on your way. So these blessings are going to be delivered to you very soon. So your job at the moment is to see how you can create this situation. Because whatever it is that you're worried about, it's keeping you away from actually accessing the information that you need to create this winning situation because we can see here the nine of cups really has you feeling happy joyful abundant you're just feeling really really good so your blessings here in september are saying move out of the way you are blocking your blessings we can see here with the swords they are in the way We've got this ghostly figure here. This is all in the way and this has you really worried. But if we can focus a little bit more, we have our owl flying in. And this is indicating that there is actually wisdom that is trying to come in. There is information that is trying to come in. But because you have all these swords that are in the way of this knowledge, information, wisdom, that can free you from this situation here. So your blessings are going to be coming in by you removing yourself from that worry, from that stress. Removing yourself from this block, this obstacle that's in the way and starting to focus on the good things that are there in your life. Starting to focus on how you can create more of this goodness, of this abundance, because there is so much of it. Your health, you have treasures, you have abundance, you have the sun shining here, which is indicating that you are feeling really good. So this is where you need to start shifting your focus to this situation here. And the more you start shifting your focus to this incredible, beautiful situation that is here, the more you're going to see your blessings and abundance starting to grow. And the reason why I'm saying that your blessings and your abundance are going to start to grow because we have this beautiful card, which is the six of cups. The six of cups is that card of sharing, of having enough. So the growth, we can see that we have our tree here and underneath the roots, there is so much color, so much vibrancy, so much 
and when you see the tree here you could be like oh it's dull it's boring there's no color there but deep down this is what you're missing Pisces deep down there is so many gifts for you so see how you can go and look within yourself and start examining your life different aspects different areas of your life to see where these gifts are because this card is saying that you are missing something you are missing all the blessings that you have in your life because you are focusing on the outer appearance of your life whereas your challenge this month is to travel back down to your roots and starting to see how all these blessings, gifts, family, sharing, resources, you have so much resources that are at your disposal and how you can bring these out to the outer world so we can start seeing some more color, some more joy, some more vibrancy in your life that is not just hidden from you. So the Six of Cups card is saying, hey, this is you, like the tree that is just all black. So this is you focusing on the areas of your life that are currently not working at the moment. But the thing is, because all your focus is just in this one area, you are missing the beauty, the gifts, the joy that is just right beneath the surface. So your challenge is to rest, recuperate, rejuvenate yourself so you can start shifting your perspective to start appreciating all these blessings that you have and then challenging yourself to see how you can start bringing them out into your life, into the outer world. So you can see you starting to celebrate, starting to feel good instead of being in this, um, in this depressive state that you're currently in at the moment. Because the next card, which is our first tarot card, is talking about a never ending story. And this never ending story is in your mind. So what do you keep on telling yourself over and over again so that you're, see you're seeing yourself worried, distressed, because there's a story that you are telling yourself and focusing on and missing the blessings in your life. So shift your mind, open your eyes because we can see our card here, our girl, she's got her eyes closed. She's not looking outside of her mind because remember I said these worries are on the mental plane because these are swords. So this card is indicating the same thing that these worries are bigger in your mind than they actually are in real life. So stop creating this never ending story in your life about what about this? I don't have a job. I've lost this. I've lost that. And shift your thinking because when you do, like I said, there are blessings that are being promised to you. The next card we see you is you taking the courage to journey out of your mind and actually seeing reality and life for what it really is. So you're taking this journey and saying, hey, I'm being told that there's something better out there. I'm being told to take this journey to explore different areas of my life, to find that light. There might be darkness, yes, in other areas, but if you focus on this light, you are going to be in a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful position of celebration, of manifesting these joyous situations that are right there. So move away from the darkness and start journeying towards the light. The next card here, we have the Medicine Mother. And the medicine mother is saying, as you're hearing this message, inside your heart and soul, you actually do know that this is the truth. You do know that you have been focusing on your worries, on what's not working, on the darkness around you. 
So this card is saying, honor your inner knowing because deep down in your heart and your soul, you know you can solve this problem. You know you can remove this block that's in the way so that you can start enjoying the abundance and blessings that are on the cards here for you. The next card here we have for you, Pisces, is talking about a win-win outcome is on the cards for you. So this card is talking about balance. So this card is asking you how you can balance your life, how you can create that balance in your emotions, in your mental state, and then in your physical life also, so that you can start creating this win-win outcome that's on the cards. So again, shift your focus from the darkness that is in your life at the moment, because this is just one area. And by shifting your focus, you're gonna be bringing in this balance. And when you do, you're gonna find so many different ways of solving the problem that you have. Because solving this problem that you have, the solution is gonna come when you shift your focus. And then you're gonna realize that yes, there is a win-win uh, outcome when you shift your focus. So the last card that we have here, Pisces, is talking about pure intentions. So this card here is saying, the fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. So what are your wishes? So perhaps now you're wishing to say, I want to see things that are worrying me from a different perspective. I want to bring in this wisdom that is trying to come in to help me solve this problem. So that could be one way of using your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intentions and for the highest good for all involved. So your pure intentions are, you know what? I want the best for myself, yet I also want the best for everyone involved in my life in this situation. I want the best for them too, because this is what's gonna create that win-win outcome when you start seeing life in a more balanced way, when you start seeing life in a way where you can create a win-win situation for you and also a win-win situation for other people so that we can all win. Life is not about a competition. Life is about creating this balance and creating joy and success so that you can share it not only with your family and friends, but also with the world around you. Pisces, this is the reading that I have for you. You are definitely blessed here in the month of September onwards. Remember to shift your focus. And if you need your own personal reading done, my website is in the description box below. Uh, just get in touch with me and I'll be happy to work with you. Again, subscribe to the channel and that's a way for you blessing me. And I really appreciate that. On that note, Pisces, I'm going to see you in the next video and it's a goodbye from me. Bye.